Hey, it's Sam here, and in this video, I'll be building the Cedo ABM66. The bare bones kit is priced around 60 US dollars, which is pretty cheap for an Alice style keyboard. Before I start the build, here is what's included with the keyboard kit. There is a user manual for the keyboard, a braided Type A to Type C charging cable, a 2 in 1 switch and keycap puller, and the Alice style keyboard itself, which has a knob and screen on the right. The keyboard has per key RGB, is 5 pin hot swap in a south facing layout, and comes with 5 2U plate mounted stabilizers. The knob controls the volume, and the screen can display the time alongside two GIFs. Oh, and there's also an RGB ring here on the left that looks pretty cool. The keyboard has a front height of 22mm and the typing angle can be increased with the height adjustable feet on the bottom. There's nothing on the front, just a bump here to fit the Alice layout. And on the back here in the middle is where the Trimode toggle switch and Type-C port is located. On the bottom, there's 4 rubber feet, 2 height adjustable feet and the details of the keyboard in the middle. The case for the Cedo ABM66 is plastic, so it only weighs just over 550 grams or 1.2 pounds. Alright, to access the parts and components inside, the knob has to be removed first and the clips of the case have to be pried open. And I'm just using this plastic pry tool to help me open the case. Once all of the clips are open, the top case just pops out and there's two more cables that need to be disconnected. One is for the battery and one is for the daughter board. There are six screws holding the plate to the PCB and before you take them apart, the ribbon cable for the screen at the back of the PCB needs to be disconnected as well. Now let's go through the parts and components of the keyboard. The top case has the diffuser for the RGB ring, the cover for the screen, and all of the clips that hold the keyboard case together. The bottom case surprisingly has no foam inside but it houses the 3000mAh battery and the daughter board here in the middle. Here is how the PCB looks, it has a piece of PET insulation film on top and a thick piece of poron foam at the back of the PCB. Besides that, there's also a piece of IXPE switchpad for the PCB that goes on like this, and a piece of pre-cut poron plate form that layers on top of that. The polycarbonate plate houses the screen and it also has flex cuts so it's super flexible as you can see. The plate is also gasket mounted with these foam pieces on the sides. Okay, that was the teardown of the Cedo ABM66, I'm happy with all of the mods included, now let's build this keyboard. Starting off with the steps, I will be using the included plate mounted stabilizers as they are loop and work great already. But if you want to use your own steps, you can remove them and replace them easily. Moving on to the switches, I'll be using the Cedo Mint Linear Switch. The switch has an actuation force of 43 grams and it bottoms out at around 56 grams. Besides that, it also comes with an LED diffuser and is pre-looped out of the box. Honestly, I've used this switch in the past and I just love how it looks with RGB as you can see and it also sounds pretty good for a stock switch. For the keycaps, I'm using the IFA Triple Shot PBT White on Black keycaps. The keycaps are cherry profile and I think they look awesome with the red Japanese sub legends. But in hindsight, it wasn't really the best choice because it doesn't really fit with the Alice layout here. I had to get extra space bars for the layout and borrow the left control key and right out key from another keycap set. So do keep this in mind if you're planning to build your own. And that is it, my keyboard is finally done, I think everything looks really nice together. 
The RGB still shines nicely in between the keys and the flex when typing is substantial too, providing a soft typing experience because of the gasket mount of the keyboard. So for the software, there's two you need for this keyboard. The first software is VIA. You need this software to customize all of the keys and layers, create or import macros to the keyboard, and configure the RGB here too. Second app you need is the Image Custom tool. Here is where you can upload two of your own GIFs or images to the screen on the keyboard and you just select and press upload. The screen does come preloaded with a clock and two GIFs from the factory but you can override the GIFs with the software. But to be honest, I don't really recommend doing it because the software stretches the GIFs and images you upload and just looks weird in my opinion. But enough about that, let's move on to the typing sound test. Here are my final thoughts on the Cedo ABM66. For 60 US dollars, it's definitely a great bare bones keyboard kit, especially for an alley style layout. Plus, it comes with everything already, so you just need to get your own switches and keycaps. Just be careful with the keycaps and double check if yours will fit the alley style layout. But overall, it's really easy to build and sounds awesome, in my opinion. So, if you're interested in the Cedo ABM66, it will be linked in the description below with everything else I used in the video. And that wraps it up for this video. Thanks to Cedo for the keyboard and switches, and thank you for watching. Leave a like on the video if you liked it, dislike it if you didn't, and remember to subscribe if you haven't. See you in the next one.